<laughs> All right, video one. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about um, safety and safes. Um, so a lot of times you'll look at ads in the paper, if you still get a newspaper, not calling anyone old, I'm just saying if you still get a paper, or you'll see ads online through whatever where there are two things they're selling. They're selling a gun cabinet or they're selling a gun safe. Um, these are not interchangeable terms. So the difference between the two is a gun safe is something that is actually fire resistant when a gun cabinet isn't. So here's a prime example of what I have to talk about. So inside here, this is a fire safe box. This is around 40 to $60 depending on your retailer and it is lined with a fireproofing. Now inside of this, I have a basically safe box. And the safe box is just a fake book here that I can pop open that I use to sort some stuff that's in here. Some important items like social security cards, credit cards, everything else. This box will not protect anything against a fire, nor will this box really protect anyone trying to keep out of it. If you want to get into this, all you need is a screwdriver and a hammer, really, and you can break the lock open. But the same thing is true also for this safe. This safe or the safe box could be busted open with a hammer or whatever. It's there for just safe deposit, but it will protect in a fire. With a gun safe, it's also the same principle. A gun safe is not meant to keep someone out. Yes, there's a lock on there. Yes, it is meant for security, but a gun safe is not meant to be impenetrable. It's meant to be fireproof. So the one thing I can tell you is the most important thing when looking at these is, and you will see the price difference. The price difference is normally a $200 to $500 difference when looking at a gun cabinet versus a gun safe of the same size. So <coughs> here we have my sports of field. It's a 36 plus six. I bought this at a local sports store for a really good price. And um, I wanna say this was about a six to $700 safe. Um, there was a $150 delivery fee that I did not end up having to pay because I went and got it myself. Um, when purchasing these, think about certain things with this one it was like 305 pounds. If it were a few pounds heavier, I think it was like they were 325, it would have been an additional $100. So when purchasing these, depending on it, you know, the delivery service you're paying and everything else, it just depends um, what the cost is going to be if you're going to pay for the delivery service. Um, another thing, pretty much all of these new gun safes have a digital key lock. Um, uh, when putting these in, you know, kind of figure out a timetable if it's going to be six months or a year that you're going to replace the battery behind here um, and make sure that these all have an additional key and you know where the key is because guess what? Having a $700 safe does not do a thing for you if you don't know what the, or if you don't know what the passcode is and if you don't know where the key is to the lockbox. Okay. Um, so this is a, I think it's a 30 or 45 minute fire rated safe at 1400 degrees. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. It's a great, oh wait, it's right here on the side. 30 minutes at 1200 degrees. So, um, and all of these safes, these fire safes have a certain thing in them. It's always this plastic seal here that basically when the fire happens, it melts and it protects everything on the inside. So, these are, so why am I talking about this in the first video? Well, you're gonna purchase a gun, right? This is the first thing to purchase. This is the first thing that you need for protection in your home. Um, also, I'm gonna talk about a few of the accessories that come along with gun ownership and shooting. One of the first things I recommend, so here I have a nice hygrometer that measures the humidity in here so I know. Um, this is actually floor mounted and it's, I'm actually right on a floor joist. So depending on what the humidity is, even though the safe might be sealed, there may be some humidity changes and opening and closing it just right now. I mean, it's 85 degrees outside and it's hot and humid. So opening and closing this can bring in some moisture. 
So you want to check your numbers and make sure that your stuff is being <coughs> that your stuff is okay. Now, next thing. I want to give somebody access to what I'm doing. Um, there are certain things for these that help make this an easier process. This came with my safe, but this is basically a gigantic box, bag of silica gel to adjust the, um, to basically suck up the moisture in the sink. So that sits in there to make sure that we're sucking up all the moisture. And I try to keep it as far away from my hygrometer as I can so I can get an accurate reading of the entire safe. So that's the first two things that I highly recommend uh, that you do for your safe. There's a lot of different items that come with these. Um, there's some gun gun racks in the back. There's gun racks up here. Um, I This might look totally unorganized right now, and it's because we're gonna be shooting some other videos today, but um, I keep almost all of my gun accessories in here, all of my holsters. Um, I keep important paperwork in the bottom, like deeds to properties, everything else. I keep all of my ammunition in here right now because I can, um, but the way I look at it, this thing's meant to survive a fire. Um, if there's a fire and I lose 200 rounds or 500 rounds or how many ever rounds to a gun that I own, that's a cost and I don't really want to file that on a homeowner's request. Like, oh yeah, I lost 400 rounds or I lost a thousand rounds of 40 Smith and Wesson. What? <laughs> So that's one of the first things that I like to, to discuss on that. Um, anything else in here? Um, I mean, I have all my chamber flags, things like that, some lighting that obviously is being shown out by this one. And um, here in the upcoming weeks, we'll go over some of the items that come with, um, that are uh, involved with my safe. So um, for video one here, uh, the thing that I, I recommend, number one, obviously, oh, a, a total thing I forgot. Buy a safe larger than what you're going to need. Um, I know that that sounds wild, but number one, you can put more than guns in a safe. Um, you know, you can stack silver in here, you can do whatever you want to with them. But the important thing is with the safe, buy the safe that is larger than the amount of guns that you currently have or are planning to have. Now, if you're starting out and you're just buying a pistol, this right here is a great option at $40 to $60 for a fire safe box. I'm not endorsed by anyone. This was given to us, it was given to my wife and I as a gift like our first year of marriage. Um, but this is something that could fit a handgun. It could probably fit multiple handguns. Something like this is great. It keeps you safe and um, it's something that can resist a fire. <clears throat> now, on the other hand, do not buy a gun cabinet. Um, if you're planning on using it for safe purposes, the gun cabinets are easy to break open. They have, you know, most, I don't think I've really seen very many that have an actual digital lock on there. Most of them have keys. Those keys can easily be lost and they're just not, it's not a gun safe. People confuse the two terms, gun safe versus gun cabinet. Okay, now, next video, I'm going to talk about some shooting accessories, things that you need to take your gun from home to the range and where to protect yourself. So anyways, that is, this has been week one. Um, safes, safe, safe, safe. And um, I am James from Gibbs Guns, and uh, I can't wait to see you next time.